Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can write wants and code anywhere with React Native. For this tutorial, you will need to have Xcode, Android Studio, Motion, Android SDK, and React Native installed. Open a terminal and navigate to the folder where you want to save your project. Create your project by typing react-native init tutorial1. Add the project files to your text editor. While this loads, I should probably take this time to tell you how cool I think React Native is. And I haven't been posting videos as often because I have been learning React Native. In this video, I'm going to write code once and install it on both Android and iOS. In order to use the Jenny Motion emulator, we need to add the location of the Android SDK to our project. So in the Android folder, we're going to create a file called local with the extension properties. And in this file, we're going to reference the location of the Android SDK. There are four parts to the structure of a React Native app. At the top of your code, you have import statements. This is similar to Android and iOS. Next, you have your components. These can be highly customizable. Then you have your styling, which is not going to be covered in this tutorial. And then finally, you have an export statement. In this tutorial, I'm using React Native 0.48, so we have a single app.js file. There is no index.ios.js or index.android.js. So let's delete all of this code and start fresh. At this point, we will need two import statements. The first import statement is import react component from react. The second import, we need a view and a text element from the react native library. The view and the text elements are written between curly braces and this is called the structuring. Think of it as taking the view and the text element from the React Native library. We're going to use a class based component. The way React works is that it can only render one element. So you'll notice that I have the text view nested in the view tag. Finally, we have our export statement. So let's save our file and see if we can get it running on our Android and iOS emulators. So let's go to our terminal, navigate to the project folder and run React Native run iOS. Now if we try to run the Android emulator by using React Native run Android, it isn't going to work just yet. If you have Genymotion installed, start the emulator first. Alternatively, you could import this project in Android Studio and use the emulator in there, but that seems like a lot more work. Now look at these two emulators running different platforms, but running the same code. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.